Hi, my name is Amar. In this video, I will discuss about animated like button in Flutter using Gatex. Here I have created this project. After creating the project in the pubspec.yml file, I have taken these two dependencies. The first one is the like button. It will be used to create the animated like button. And the second one is the get storage. This get storage I have used to store the like count and the like state. How I will achieve this, that portion I will discuss today. Now let me move to the home view. In the home view, you can see in the body, I have taken the center widget. Now in the center widget as a child, I will use the like button, correct? Now I will save this. Now once I save this, then you will see this like button has been created. And if I click here, then you can see this button is animated, correct? Now suppose I want to display the, or I want to increase the size, then I can use this size property and let me specify the size as 80. Now let me save this, then you can see the size has been increased. Okay. Now, if you want, you can uh, display the like count as well. So here I am using like count and in the like count, I am displaying the value as five. Now let me save this. Now once I save this, then you can see this five, that is the like count has been displayed here. Correct. Now we can change the position of this like count as well. To do that, here I will use count position. And in the count position, I will write count position dot bottom. You can see here we have different values bottom, left, right. Correct. Now here I am choosing bottom. Now let me save this. Then you can see that the position has been changed. Now if you want, if you see here, if I click here, then this button is animated and it has different colors if you want you can change this color combination as well by using this circle color okay bubbles color by using these two properties we can change these colors now here what i will do is that by default this heart shaped button is coming if you want you can change this icon as well to do that here i will use like builder correct now in the like builder let me return a icon and in the icon here i will use icons dot let it be monetization on and in the color i will write is liked means if the button is liked then I will set the color as colors dot red and if it is not liked then I will set the colors as colors dot gray correct and what I will do is that I will change the size to 80 now let me save this once again and before saving here I need to put a semicolon now let me save this once I save this, then you can see the icon has been changed. Now, if I click here, then you can see the button is animated. Correct. Now, if you want, you can change the look and feel of this count, which has been displayed here. And to do that here, I need to use another property, which is called as count builder. Correct. Now in this count builder, it will take these three proper, uh, parameters that is like count is liked and text. Now here what I will do here I will return a uh, text and in the text here I will write if like count equals to equals to zero then nothing will be displayed otherwise the text which has been stored here that will be displayed and and in the style here I will use text style and in the text style I will use the color in the color what I will do I will do a check is liked means if it is liked what I can do I can simply copy it and paste it means if it is liked then the text color will be red otherwise it will be gr uh, gray and I will change the font size to let it be 20 let me put a semicolon here now let me save this then you can see if i click here then this color is red six has been displayed in red color and if i click it once more then then you can see this text color is in green 
uh, sorry in gray and the font size is also changed now i will write the code to preserve the like count and the state like state of this button to do that here i will use on tap this on tap will take is liked and here i will write the code now here i will write the code to preserve the like count and the like state and to do that in the main dot dot you can see here i have initialized the get storage and the main method is async now i will move to the home controller in the home controller i will declare some variables first of all i am declaring a variable that is like count and let me initialize it with the value zero so initially the like count will be zero and here i am creating the instance of get storage by creating the instance of get storage and here i will create a method future of bool why i am creating it future of bool because if you can see in this on tap this is actually returning a future of bool that's why here i am creating this method having the return type as future of bool and i will give the method name as save like count correct and this will take boolean is liked and let me declare this method as async now here i will write get storage dot write now it will take the key in the key i am writing is liked means here i am storing the like the status of the button correct so get storage dot write after that the key name and in the value here i will pass not of is liked now if not is liked then i will increase the value of like count by 1 else sorry else here i will check if the like count is greater than 0 then only the value of like count will decrease otherwise its value will be 0 correct now i need to store this like count in the get storage so simply i will copy this i will paste it here and here i will give the key name as like count and here i will store the value of like count correct and after that here i will return not of is liked now i will move to this home view and in the home view here in the on tap i will write return controller dot the method which i have created that is save like count and here i will pass is liked correct now let me hot restart the project now here i will do one more thing in this like count instead of 5 what i will do is that i will retrieve the value from the get storage so here i will write controller dot get storage dot read and the key name was like count sorry like count so i will copy this paste it here so i will fetch the value of the like count from the get storage and it has one more property that is is liked whether the button is liked or not and its value also i will retrieve from the get storage so i will write controller dot get storage after that here i will give the key name that is is liked so here i will pass is liked and if it is null 
if it is null then i will set its value as false controller dot get storage dot read and here also if it is null then its value i will set as zero now let me save this let me hot restart now you can see the button is currently in the disliked state correct now if i click here then the button is liked and the like count is one and its state should be preserved in the get storage now if i hot restart the project once again then you can see the button is still in the liked state and the like count is one if i click here then the button is in the disliked state and the like count is zero if i do a hot restart then you can see the button is still in the disliked state this means the button liked state and the like count is preserved perfectly in the get storage this is how we can use this like button in flutter using getx i hope you have liked my video if you have liked my video please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching